There are long shots, and there are long shots. Lance Long doesn't think he fits into either category, but when you hear his story, there's no other way he can be described. It's been a dream of mine ever since I was a little kid, ever since I started playing football. In high school, my goal was to play Division I. That's, that's what I wanted to do, and you know, I ended up going to Toledo, and uh, things didn't work out at Toledo. It wasn't the right place for me. So I ended up walking on it in Mississippi State, and uh, you know, I, I didn't really get to play a lot. I had to just bust my tail pretty much just to, just to get looked at. The diminutive wide receiver started just two games as a senior at Mississippi State. Last season, he tried out for the Arizona Cardinals, who boast some of the NFL's most accomplished wideouts. Long impressed coaches enough to make the practice squad. The last game we played Denver, and I felt like I had a pretty, pretty decent game. And I felt like I was going to make the team. You know, now that I think about it, it was a blessing in disguise, spending the whole year on the practice squad. You know, got my game a lot better. But at the time, I was, I was pretty disappointed. But at, at the same time, I was counting my blessings because I had a job and I had my foot in the door. Now, entering year two, he's physically bigger, more prepared, and closer than you might think to joining Larry Fitzgerald, Antoine Bolden, and Steve Breston on the active roster. Much like Steve Breston the year before, he showed up in the spring. He made plays, and you know, he gets your attention that way. And when a young guy like Lance comes in, works very hard, wants to get better, always asking questions, always studying, looking at tape, you know, you, he gets noticed. And, and then when you can produce on the field, which he's done for us in practices, then it kind of gets your, your radar up. So the next stage for him is, can he do it in a game? Long's ascension has increased this offseason, as he's not missed a day of workouts and even shown up at the team facility on weekends to catch passes and run routes when few others are around. He's been likened to former Jets wideout Wayne Krebet and says he brings similar shifty slot receiver qualities to a team that doesn't pose such a threat. I think I bring a lot to the table. You know, uh, quickness, I catch the ball really well, I try to be physical when I block and I'm always going to give you 110%. There are expectations now, expectations that often make or break players when faced with meeting increased hopes. You can't think about the expectations. Coming in every day knowing that you, you can be cut or you, know, you could be traded or whatever it may be, you can't think about those things. All you can do is worry about getting better each day, working on your game every day and playing every play like it's your last play. To show how much things have changed, Long feels would be a disappointment if he doesn't make the roster, not only as a special teams player, but a rotational receiver. Long doesn't feel his journey is overly remarkable, although it is unique. Call it what you will, he said, just don't call him a long shot. I don't consider myself a long shot at all. I feel like I have a very good shot of making the team. I just don't want to make the 53-man roster. I want to play and I want to contribute to, uh, to our success as a team.